Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, horror, I've got two independently published uh, horror books to talk about for Small Press Fridays. So I did the first of these a few weeks ago, uh, introducing the concept and talking about a few uh, books that have landed on my desk from independent publishers or uh, self-published authors. Um, so the idea, if you missed that video, is that every so often, probably about once a month on a Friday, um, I'll talk about some, um, some small press or self-published books that have been sent to me um, and do reviews of any that I've read since I did the last video. So I have two to talk about today. So nothing new has come in. Um, but if you're a, an, ind you know, an, ind an indie publisher or a self-published author and you're watching this and you've got something that you think fits with the channel, i.e. it's kind of crime or horror, that kind of thing, um, do feel free to reach out to me. My email address is in the description for the video. Um, and we can have a we can have a chat about whether your whether your book is right to be featured. Um, so yes, I've got two that I have read. Um, so I read both of these for Horror Mayhem, the horror reading event in May that was organised by the Bookish Bryant, um, which is a fantastically enjoyable event. I have to say, I really enjoyed it. I read a lot of good a lot of good horror during the month, including both of these. So let's talk about um, the two of them. So the first one. Um, I read this for the Folk Horror Week in Horror Mayhem. So this is A Solemn Curfew and Other Dark Tales by Bev Allen. So Bev is a British author um, who writes, I think, kind of sci-fi fantasy as well as horror. Um, so this is the first thing I've read by her and I, I really, really enjoyed it. So it's a, um, it's a collection of nine short horror stories. As I say, they mostly fall into the kind of folk horror um, subgenre and they are... Um, kind of quite gentle stories in, in a lot of ways. So quite rich in their description of the characters. So quite character-based rather than um, event-based, if you like. Um, but all thoroughly enjoyable. So they range from... There's a number of stories that are set in the present day um, and a number that are set in, in the past, so particularly in kind of medieval times. And A Solemn Curfew, the, the, you know, the kind of title story of the collection, which is the longest story, so it's about 50 pages, is kind of a medieval one about this cook um, who works in a castle um, and his attempts to find um, interesting things to cook for, uh, to cook for the, the lord of the castle, um, which was really entertaining. Um, so there's a, there's a, a nice bit of humour running through this collection. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, kind of quite dark comedy going on. Um, and as I said, I think in the weekly wrap-up where I talked about this one, it did remind me a bit of um, of Roald Dahl at times, um, in that a lot of the stories have that kind of nice comic, dark comic twist at the end. Um, but yeah, a, a really, really enjoyable collection. Um, and I think because of the folk horror aspect, there are, you know, kind of shades of Angela Carter as well in some of the stories. So there's that kind of richness um, and descriptiveness to, to Bev Allen's writing that reminded me quite a lot of Angela Carter, actually. Um, she's, a, she's a wonderfully descriptive writer um, and she does that. She, she's got the knack of the short story in that she will introduce you to characters, usually a, a fairly small number of characters, um, and very quickly you feel like you have come to know them. Um, so, you know, some of the stories, there's some stories here set in the present day about kind of aggrieved wives and things like that. Um, and you really feel their their annoyance <laughs> at the situations they're in. Um, she really pulls you in, you know, within a few pages, I found that I was pulled into each of these stories and was immersed in the world that she, you know, the, the kind of mini world that she created for that story um, and in the, the lives of the characters that the story is about. And that's a, that's a really difficult thing to do um, and something that I think a lot of short story writers lack. I think a lot of short stories tend to be much more about having a central concept and not so much about the characters. And that can mean, even if even when the concepts are really good, that can mean that sometimes they fall a bit flat. Um, but Bev does a fantastic job of, of, as I say, immersing you in the lives of the characters so you actually care about what's going on. Um, and so when she when she gets to like the concept part of the story, you're you're already bought into 
the story itself and so i think the concept works that much better um so yeah a really interesting um and enjoyable um collection of stories um i will leave a, a link to um where you can buy it um so it comes from um cat haven press i have another book from them um or a couple of a couple of issues in fact of their occult detective magazine which they publish um which dave brzezki who's the publisher very kindly sent me um so i will be featuring those in a future um episode of um of small press fridays i think i've i've already shown them in the last one of these i did um but i'm intending to read a couple of them and do a review um in the future um but yeah quite an interesting publisher i'm um, certainly you know on the basis of this and and the flick through i've done of the occult detective magazine um i'm quite intrigued by the kind of stuff they're they're doing um and having chatted a bit with dave as well he's incredibly knowledgeable um about the horror genre um so yeah definitely recommend this as i say there'll be a link in the description for the video where you can buy it that's an affiliate link which means i get a small commission um if you buy it but you pay normal price so if you want to support the channel and support a small publisher um then click that link and buy a solemn curfew um so the second book then um, is Since September by Shannon Hovey. So Shannon is a booktuber as well. So uh, she has a channel, Shannon's Bookish Musings and Music, which is well worth checking out. Um, so talks quite often about horror, but but covers a range of other things as well. So a really, uh, you know, a good channel um, and also a very good book. So this is a, um, a novella. It is just under 100 pages, 99 pages, in fact, exactly. Um, and it, it's really good. So I often complain about books being too long on the channel. I actually, if I had one criticism of this book, I actually think it could have been longer. So I think Shannon could have stretched this to novel length. So I think she could have doubled the length of it. Um, and it still would have worked just as well um, as a story. And there were some parts that felt, to me, maybe a tiny bit rushed, that I think with a bit more... Um, a bit more development and a bit more detail around them might have worked better but that's not to take away from the fact that it's a really really enjoyable read so this is a um, I guess it's like a psychological suspense story um, about this uh, young woman called Sheridan um, who has a troubled relationship with her mother shall we say um, her mother a, a tragedy strikes the family let's let's leave it at that a tragedy strikes the family um, and it's about Sheridan coming to terms with that um but in a way that you know basically her 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 grip on reality seems to be slipping um and it's about that the kind of journey she goes through um from this uh you know from this this tragic event that happens and the impact it has on her but told very much in a in a kind of suspense story style so you feel that she is you know in danger herself as well um i won't go into more detail than that um because it would spoil it but it's a really gripping read um and builds up to a, a conclusion which works very very well and, and you know makes perfect sense in, in um within the realms of the book um so yeah i i really enjoyed it and what i think is particularly good about this book and this is perhaps why i say it could have been longer is the development of characters is fantastic so sheridan is a really convincing character um and as are um you know her friends and and you know the various people she interacts with and in the second half of the book she found finds herself thrown into a very different kind of environment um and you get a whole load of new characters introduced at that point and um, it, Shannon Hovey does a great job of very quickly making you, you know, making those characters part of the story, making them part of Sheridan's story. And she's very good at creating, you know, like distinct characters. One of the problems I see quite a lot in self published books and, and you know, first books from first time authors um, is that you characters can feel quite interchangeable you get you get kind of the main character the protagonist and maybe the antagonist as well who are quite you know rich and detailed but the supporting cast of characters all feel a bit samey um, that's definitely not the true not not the case in this book so um you know shannon does a really good job of creating distinct interesting characters who all have their part to play in the in the development of the story um, and I think she could have expanded it a bit and given a bit more space to those characters and I think it wouldn't have harmed like the pace of the book at all but as I say that's not to take away from the fact that it's, it's a really really entertaining read um, so yeah I again there'll be a link for this in the in the description so um, it's you know it's self-published by Shannon so by 
you know, by by buying it, you are supporting her, and you're also supporting the channel a little bit. Um, so yes, two very enjoyable um, horror reads, both you know fairly quick reads, and I'm I'm really getting into short stories again, um, and and novellas as well. I have to say because I'm quite enjoying things that you where you get the whole thing in you know one or two sittings. Um, so yeah, a couple of very entertaining reads. Do check them out if you like the sound of them. Um, if you've read either of them. Um, or other other works by the authors then do shout in the comments um, but yeah as always uh, thank you very much for watching hope you're safe and well hope you're reading good stuff and I will speak to you again very soon cheerio